Hey rainbows, welcome back to another episode of the royal family. We have several really fun things that we're going to be doing in this episode. Obviously, we're going to be talking about the intro in this video and I just want to let you guys know now if you like Jabari, don't worry. If you like Makai, don't worry. We're gonna, we're, it, it's gonna be fine. We'll talk about that later in this video. But some other things that we want to do too is, as you guys can see, we are at the Willow Creek Palace. So we're going to be doing just like a little small get together slash party, just because I feel like we haven't had a lot of parties recently. So I wanted to do that. And that way we can focus on a bunch of the different characters. So we're going to go ahead and do that in this episode. So if you're excited, make sure you hit that like button. So we're going to be focusing on Cornelius. I do kind of want to try to focus on Samaria and Makana in this episode as well, but we will see. I don't know how much time I have to film because I have to clean our apartment because we're having people over tonight for my birthday. My birthday's actually not until March 17th, but we were supposed to go out tonight to DC, but then with the whole, you know, situation going on right now with the coronavirus, we thought that it either is going to be empty or like not safe. So we're just gonna have people over here, but then I realized like I have to clean my apartment. So I don't know how long this video will be, but I always say that and then it ends up being like around the same time as the other videos. So it's whatever. Okay, but I did already invite people People to the party because I thought that we weren't having as many parties. We really haven't had a wedding in a long time. We haven't had a baby board in a long time and we haven't had like a birthday party in a while too. But I wanted to do this party because I f feel like, so Elena, she is the partier. She's the party girl. If you guys saw my last video that I posted, the tea about the royal family characters, you guys can see the character descriptions from my royal family personality quiz at the end of that video. So as you guys could see, on there, Elena is a partier, she's super outgoing, and we haven't had a party in a while. And there has been, you know, several deaths. There's been her great uncle, which is her grandmother, Queen Mother Cora, her brother, King Henry. There was that death, so they were in mourning. And then we also have her boyfriend's father who was just killed, and I'll briefly touch on that in this episode too. But Elena is such a partier, so I feel like she wanted to throw the party, and her parents were like very iffy about it at first, but then they were like, you know what, you you guys still have to wear all black in like respect of your grandmother. Not because Queen Cora is dead, but you know, because it's her brother. Queen Cora, she doesn't have that much longer to live. She was very close in age with King Henry, so she only has a few days left to live, unfortunately. Unfortunately, but I'll worry about that later. We won't worry about that right now. So a few updates. One, Genevieve, she is, looks like she's talking to Princess Kimberly right now, but I just don't think her and Prince Adric are gonna work together. I don't know. I just, I don't feel it. And like their relationship has been hard to, like their romantic relationship has been been hard to improve, increase, whatever it's called. And then with Cornelius, so I did want to talk about him. Oh, it looks like he's not wearing his all black, but you know what? His outfit is pretty dark anyway, so it's fine. But with Cornelius, so as you guys know, he has been working on the Royal Farm, which is right next to the Royal Palace. And he has been working there with this guy named Ellis a lot. So it's mostly just to teach him some responsibility and just to teach him hard work and to see what others don't have that he has. That's what his parents' goal of this whole thing was. So I feel like it's kind of working with Cornelius. Cornelius and Ellis. Actually, Ellis, I he, he invited Ellis to come. I don't know if Ellis is actually going to come because I don't really know if this is his scene, but he was invited, so we'll see. I talked about in the last video how Cornelius, he's might be the way he is just because he has so much pressure on him. He is the oldest, he's the heir, and he's like the only boy. So he just has all this pressure on him. And he's already like, he already feels emotions really strongly. So he's just super rebellious in that way. And I feel like he doesn't think anyone really understands him. But I think that Ellis understands the pressure that he goes through a little bit, just because as I mentioned before, Ellis' mother passed away and he had to provide for both of them. And at such a young age, like Ellis is a teenager. So just that pressure to provide for both of them, like I feel like he understands understands that. So I feel like he's kind of opened up to Cornelius about that a little bit. I am curious to see if he's going to be here. If he is, I will definitely talk about him a little bit more. If not, we can talk about them in another episode a little bit more. But yeah, so I do think Cornelius is doing a little bit better. Oh God. Oh wait, did you just push your sister? Oh my God. I was just talking about how much better you were being. Cornelius. Okay. You know what? 
It's 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 just the mischief. Okay, it's a monkeying around thing. Although uh, Genevieve looks really annoyed about it. He wasn't like being mean to her though, so that's fine. And then we have Arya and Kimberly here. They're both so beautiful, you guys. And then we should also have like Aisha here. Oh, and then we have okay. So this is Lord Maxwell. So he and Aisha, if you guys remember from the debutant ball, they were flirting and they were really cute together. But actually, Maxwell is now dating Lady Rosalind, which is. Is Aisha, Arya, Kimberly, and Manuel's cousin because she's the sister of Lord Ajay and their father is Prince Michael, which is Naya's brother. I know there's so many relations. I'm so sorry. That was just confusing to say. But yeah, so he's dating Lady Rosalind now. So him and Aisha are not dating, but they were flirting at the debutant ball a lot. Oh, there's Princess Aisha. Okay, she is here. Oh, and then this. Okay, we need to get this out of here. Yeah, I don't know why everyone's in the kitchen. I also feel like I invited a lot more people than this and a lot of people aren't here. Like, I feel like that happened with King Henry's funeral too, and I don't know why. Okay, there's like a few more people here now, but like, <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys, wait, hold on. Did you see that? <gasps> Aisha, no. Oh my God, you guys totally saw that, right? I'm pretty sure I saw him like kissing her. He was kissing her. I was just talking about how now he's dating her cousin, Rosalind. Apparently though, Aisha and Maxwell are still having a thing, even though Maxwell is dating her cousin. Okay. Okay, they saw it, he saw it. This is Lord Aryan. I'm pretty sure Elena saw that too. But Elena is like really good friends with Aisha. Like I'm pretty sure they're like, yeah, they're really good friends. They're both really big partiers and really outgoing. Aisha, she's very independent. She, if you guys saw her character description, she is very materialistic, but she wants to make her own money and like have her own success. Oh no, oh, they're already going to school. But yeah, so that's the thing with Aisha. But I feel like, oh my gosh, if Arya and Kimberly find out about this, I kind of feel like it's gonna be a whole thing because that's their cousin and like Aisha is not as close to Arya and Kimberly but Arya and Kimberly are pretty close to each other. Like they're pretty good friends. I feel like they're gonna find out about that though. And they're not gonna be okay with it. Oh, and then Samaria is here too, you got. Oh, she's angry. <gasps> Samaria, why are you angry? You know what? It might just be like her brother. Like Makana can be pretty late. I don't think we're actually gonna be able to spend time with Samaria and Makana in this episode. We might have to do that in the next episode. But Samaria is very motivated and cheerful and happy. And then Makana can be kind of lazy sometimes. Makana and Kimberly, I didn't show it to you guys but they have like gone on their official first date because they had gone to the beach before but then he took her out to dinner too. And then with Kimberly, they haven't like officially started dating. I just feel like Makana's trying to take it slow. I do think Kimberly's really into Makana, but the whole thing is that Makana's not very motivated and Kimberly's pretty motivated. She's just very laid back, but she like still does what she needs to do. So, I mean, maybe Samaria just got mad at Makana for like, I don't know, being lazy or something like that. But yeah, this was just a little bit of a party just because I feel like we haven't had that much much going on. Elena had invited Takashi, her boyfriend, but I don't think Takashi wanted to come just because of what's going on with his father and what's going on at home. Actually, I feel like he wanted to come, like he wanted to go have fun and see his girlfriend because Elena makes him really happy. But I just think with the whole situation, oh, Alice is here, you guys. Oh, cool. Oh wait, is he going to school though? Oh yeah, okay. So by the way, oh, he's going to school. He's leaving. All right, as you guys can see, Cornelius and Alice, I wish you guys could actually see him interact though, but they've gotten a little bit closer because Alice, as I said, just like understands Cornelius more than most people do, but they still come from very different backgrounds. And it does look like that there is a little bit of romantic interest going on. So I had seen that a lot of people in the comments had shipped Ellis and Cornelius, cause I do, I do think the dynamic of them works really well. And I just think that Alice really understands Cornelius, as I mentioned. I did see one person say that they shouldn't be together because they think that it would just be more focused on the drama of them being together than him actually being a friend and helping Cornelius. But like your significant other should, I mean, in my opinion, should be like your best friend, I think. So there doesn't have to be any drama with them being together. Like, I think they would be really good together because I think Ellis could help Cornelius a lot. And I will probably be focusing on them in another episode. I wish he was like staying. I can't get him to stay. He won't, I can't do anything with him. But this is like the first person Cornelius is like opened up to a little bit. So I just feel like that's important. Okay, well, I feel like a lot has happened just in this little time. Oh, Cornelius is like super peppy now. After like Ellis left though, he's just like, he probably had a good talk with him and now he's like super peppy. And him, oh, he's actually getting 
getting along with Genevieve right now. So that's good. I mean, Ella's showing up and saying hi. I, like, it wasn't here for very long. I feel like Ella's showing up and saying hi, like, put Cornelius in a really good mood. We're gonna go ahead to the Windenburg royal family, so I'm gonna end this party right now because most of the people went to school anyway. Also in the next episode, so the next video that I will be posting, I did post my schedule to my YouTube story, so the next video I'll be posting is going to be a create a sim makeover for Amira because she's the queen now, so I'm gonna give her like a queenly makeover. I don't know how much I'm gonna change, but like new crowns and probably some new dresses for her. There might be dresses you've already seen, but I'm trying to like CC shop a little bit more so I can get some new stuff. All right, so we are now at the Windenburg Palace. So let's talk about the Machinima intro. Oh, Amira's already really sad. Okay, oh gosh, oh my God, okay. Okay, so I feel like this morning, Makai left his letter of resignation on Amira's desk. So Makai actually quit because he was the royal advisor for those of you who didn't know. And he went back home to Sulani. So he was actually on leave because he was taking care of his mother and then his mother passed away. His father's getting older too, but he was back at the palace just to like get some stuff settled in. But with the whole thing with Amira, with what happened, he ended up just quitting because he just thinks he needs to stay away from Amira. Like his feelings are too strong. Makai had come to the Wooded Palace and tried to like make his own way because his mother kind of was always very overbearing. So he wanted to like figure out who he was on his own, but he's just such a Sulani boy, like that's his home. And he did get to like learn new things and gain new skills and stuff, but like he would have gone back home to Sulani sooner if it weren't for Amira. He took this job to be closer to Amira and he knows Amira is married to Jabari, but like they're still friends and they mean a lot to each other. So he took the job to be closer to her, but after what happened, he just realized he can't do it. He can't do it anymore. Now that Amira knows how he feels, like he just can't. And I just want you guys to know, I love Makai. He's one of my favorite characters ever and I promise that he's going to be happy, but I just think for his own good, I just can't imagine him being around Amira and not having feelings for her. I just think that it's best for him to stay away from Amira and to allow time to get over her for good. So I think that's why it's important that he left. But yeah, I promise he will be happy. As for Amira, so, whoa, wait, should Charles invite over Am Araminta? No, no, you should not invite over Araminta. I'm sorry. No, you're supposed to stay away from her. Oh, Diana wants to invite over Prince Adric. Okay, sure. Okay, but yeah, so with Amira, like she doesn't love Makai still, like not like that. Like she and him are very close. And as she said, like he does mean a lot to her. I think Amira was just caught in the moment Makai was comforting her. And so, okay, so. Here's the situation with Amira. We're about to get really into detail. Amira, as you guys know, has just been a completely different person since Princess May passed away. She has matured, but I mean, she doesn't have that confidence. She doesn't like, she's just super insecure. And Jabari didn't know her until after her sister passed away. So all he knows is like the Amira that she is now. So Amira has mentioned before, like, I wish I had the confidence that I used to have. Like, I wish I was more like this, like I used to be. And I feel like Jabari's been like, like they, they have a happy marriage, they do. But I mean, you know, not any marriage is not perfect. Like what matters is communication. So Jabari has just kind of been like, no, like you're perfect the way you are. Like, I love you. So Jabari just hasn't, he doesn't really get it. But Makai has gotten it. Be Why is Diana enraged? Oh, 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 maybe because Makai's gone. Oh, you guys, maybe. Maybe she just heard that Makai's gone and she's angry. Okay, that's a whole nother thing. All right, hold on. I gotta finish this, what I'm saying about Amira. So yeah, I feel like Makai just gets it because he's known Amira before she was like this. So he understands what she's talking about, how she wants the confidence back because he's seen how strong she was before. Like she's still strong, like she's gotten through it and she's been able to try to stay positive, but she's just not as confident as she used to be. So I think that's what Amira got caught up in. That's why she kissed Makai. And then she realized like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then I think that just like, that just helped Makai like admit his feelings to her also because his mother passed away. I know that sounds weird, but his mother was the one who was like not letting them be together. But I do think Amira is going to go tell Jabari about it because she feels really guilty. Jabari didn't tell her immediately when Azara had kissed him. And I mean, Amira was the one who did
did kiss Makai, but I think it's important to her that she tells Jabari. Although this whole thing about Diana being angry, like that's a whole nother thing I was not prepared to touch on today. I mean, like I don't think she's angry at Amira. She doesn't know. Like Amira hasn't told anyone about it yet. She's about to tell Jabari. Diana's just upset that Makai's gone. She, I feel like, was like, where's Makai? And Amira was like, he's not coming back. And she doesn't know why. Maybe she's angry because she won't tell her why. Okay, but Amira's gonna go tell Jabari about what happened now. I mean, she doesn't want to hide anything from Jabari. It really didn't mean anything to Amira. That is why I think she wants to tell him and just explaining like what happened. And I think she's gonna tell Jabari, like I've mentioned this before, like I've been trying to say this, but like I need help. Like I think Amira needs help. And I do think that Jabari was upset when he first found out, like he was a little bit sad, but I think that he's realizing that Amira has been asking for help and that Jabari hasn't been there and been able to understand. And he wants to understand and he wants to help her. And like, he's obviously upset about Makai too. I do think she told him about the kiss, but I do think she's leaving out the part about Makai telling her that he still loves her. So yeah, but they're gonna be okay. Jabari and Amira will be okay. This is just a little bit of a hiccup, but in the next episode, she's gonna have her coronation ceremony. Oh yeah, they're they're okay now, you guys. Amira's feeling fine now. She's feeling a lot better because Jabari was super understanding about it. But anyway, okay, I am going to end this episode here. I know we didn't really talk about Araminta and Anya and Takashi since we have so many characters. They're kind of like, all the plots are kind of on rotation and then I'll kind of bring them up in other episodes too. They still don't know who killed Emperor Zhao yet, obviously. I love seeing everyone's ideas on who they thought killed Emperor Zhao. They were super interesting, especially like the explanations for them. But yes, we're gonna end this video. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know what you think about Makai and Amira and Jabari. Please be respectful. Oh my gosh, I've seen horrible comments about Makai in the past before, and I would really appreciate if you guys would just be respectful to the characters and be nice. If you don't like him, that's fine, but you know, be respectful about it. Let me know your thoughts on the other characters too, on like Aisha seeing Maxwell and then Cornelius and Ellis. If you have not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!